क्राइसिस ऑफ कॉन्फिडेंस चारू वॉज वन ऑफ माई स्टूडेंट्स हु यूज टू एक्सेल इन हर स्टडीज शी गॉट अ जॉब इन अ बैंक मैरिड एन इंजीनियर एंड सेटल डाउन हैप्पीली आई यूज टू मीट हर वंस इन अ वाइल्ड इनिशियली शी लुकड हैप्पी एंड रेरियंट बट लेटर एज टाइम पास शी लुकड एज दो शी कैरिड अ बिग बर्डन वन मॉर्निंग शी केम टू माई ऑफिस It surprised me because she would never disturb me in the mornings. I was sure something was wrong when she burst into tears on seeing me. Ma'am, I thought I could live happily once I chose my husband, she said. Apparently things hadn't turned out that way. After the first few days of love and care, Charu's husband and his mother began harassing her. forcing her to do all the housework in addition to her job at the bank she had to hand over her entire salary to her husband and when she required any money even 10 rupees she would have to ask him for it as this marriage was against the wishes of my mother in law she finds fault with everything i do said charu my husband shuresh is always a mother's son first but never charu's husband i try to please them by doing whatever they tell me to do but still they are unhappy with me there are millions of charus in our country who are well educated and hold good jobs once they are married they have one problem or the other and they suffer throughout their lives if providing education to women is empowerment then why are so many women still crying If economic independence is real independence then why are they still suffering this question always puzzles me all these women are by any standard competent individuals if such women suffer any shed tears then what will happen to those young girls in the villages who are uneducated economically dependent and who do not have any say about any aspect of their lives be it buying clothes or choosing a husband what could be the extent of their suffering as a teacher i feel that apart from academics it is very important to teach students the basic code of life many a time my female students discuss marriage money and careers i always try to encourage the idea of self reliance and confidence it is important particularly for the girls in our country to have self confidence after all getting married and raising children is not the ultimate aim of a woman education can no doubt fetch you good jobs but more than that one should be able to face life and its realities and understand society charu should have discussed her problems openly with her husband and mother in law and should have asserted her rights but she was always submissive and wanted to please them if you try to please everyone you will please no one it is impossible to lead your life for others happiness in any permanent relationship it is wiser to put all your cards on the table show how much you can change and how much you cannot recently I was invited to a function in Delhi. Its main theme was the empowerment of women and it was also an occasion where a few awards were being given away. One of the speakers was Kiran Bedi. I've always had a special appreciation and regard for Kiran because she symbolizes women with inner strength. It shows on her face also. Speaking extempore from her heart. Forceful and sincere she narrated the following incident a girl with a masters degree in business administration fell in love with her classmate and ran away to get married in a temple there was no proof of their wedding other than a mangal sutra round her neck no registration no photo after living together for a few days the man abandoned her and this girl had to run from pillar to post for her help blaming the girl for being ignorant and finding the run away husband 
were the secondary to Kiran's fundamental question. What kind of education had this girl actually received? What was the use of all those years she had spent studying in school and college? A girl who was educated, who could lead an economically independent life, but was now crying for help, was not a thing to be brushed aside, Kiran Baidi pointed out. Education means more than scoring good marks in exams or receiving certificates. Life is an exam where the syllabus is unknown and question papers are not set. Nor are there model answer papers. There are various types of questions that can come from any direction. But one shouldn't run away. Education and financial independence are tools that can help us face difficulties. But confidence must be developed throughout life.